Hiya. Today I want to show you a quick technique for drawing on a KML route within Google Earth Studio. So I have here a KML file from a client. Now so what a KML file is, is it's basically path data that you can upload into various mapping software. So something we're going to do first is if you've got a program on your desktop called Google Earth Pro, you can go into this and you can change uh, some of the properties of this KML route. For instance, its color and its thickness. So you see we have the route here. I'm just then going to right click, go properties, and we get this panel here, uh, style and color. So I'm gonna make this sort of like a nice burnt orange color, and then we can change the thickness here. So I'm gonna maybe put that at about 15, and then we can save place as KML route and override it. Then we're gonna go online to Google Earth Studio. Now, if you haven't already got this, you might have to set it up, uh, but it doesn't take very long. So we're just going to do a blank project. Now, I'm not going to spend too long making the animation here because uh, Google Earth Studio is quite a fiddly program and that's something that might be suited better for another tutorial. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on that. So now we're going to bring this KML into Google Earth Studio. So we're going to come up to Overlay, Import KML and we're just gonna drag it out of that file there and you'll see it appears here. Now, just to quickly put this animation together, so I'm gonna angle it like that. So I come to the start and set the keyframes there. We'll move about halfway down this roughly straight section, set a few further keyframes, and then we'll have this rotate so that we're looking down the route towards the end. There we go, like that. Let's just have a quick review of that animation. That's good enough for our purposes. So, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna render out two versions of this. So we're gonna come up and do render. So river root with KML. Now you can render this on your desktop or you can just do cloud render. I'm just gonna do cloud render as that's easiest. So submit that. And then we're gonna to come to the overlay panel, show overlay panel, we're gonna turn off the KML route and we're gonna do a second render, river route without KML. And we're gonna submit this to the cloud renders as well. You can view your cloud renders that are going on here. So you just have to wait a few minutes for them to render out. So there we go, these have now rendered off on the cloud. So I'm just gonna hit download for both of these. And then we're gonna open up a fresh After Effects project. So there we go, those have downloaded now and we're just gonna drop them both into, these, into this After Effects thing. Okay, they're in there now. I'm just gonna highlight them both and do Control Alt F to scale them down to size. Now you'll see that there's this top version with the orange KML root in it. And then below it, there's this other version without. So if we just watch through the animation, we'll see they've got this nice pan along there, and then it rotates through to the end there. So with what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically draw a mask on this top one. So I'm just gonna do a simple square initially. Now we're gonna turn that mask into a subtract mask. So you'll see that you're essentially only seeing it on the right hand side. And then we're just gonna press F and just sort of bump up the feather so we have this nice sort of blur off on the edge. Now basically is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mask position, or mask path, sorry, and we're basically just gonna move it as we go along the animation so that you have this sort of um, uh, transition basically. So that moves along fairly standard like that. And then as it starts to rotate, I'm gonna sort of start moving this mask position uh, so that it's sort of, we'll keyframe it there, and then I'm gonna move this mask position so that it essentially sits sort of in front of it like that. And then we're gonna kind of move this off to the horizon towards the end of the animation. So let's see how that looks. Now just quickly, I've got a bonus tip for you. If you want to apply some sort of effect to this KML route, 
you'd need to first isolate this. Now, one way you can do that is with something called the difference mat effect. Now, is what this does is this is essentially going to remove anything that matches the layer that you select. So that's going to remove essentially everything other than the KML root line, because that's the only difference. You are going to need to get rid of the feather on your mask uh, in order for this to work because that would introduce some additional difference for it to pull, uh, select from. Also, if you are going to do this, make sure when rendering it out of Google Earth Studio that you use the exact same render settings. So if you render it as an image sequence, make sure to do that on both. And if you render it as a video, make sure to do that as well. It's because the different renders can introduce some very slight different pixel values, which this difference mat effect will then draw from. So you're just going to select a uh, difference layer and then the root without the KML. And then if I isolate this layer, you'll see that is what it's done is it's basically isolated off that uh, KML root. And then you can apply an additional effect like a glow to it. And there we go. Thanks for watching. I'm selling my map animations. So if you've got any projects that you want to discuss with me, then there's a Google form down in the description. Thanks.